Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and yes, I'm back here for another review video. I know I did a review on, I believe it was WRC6 and that went down quite well. So I thought what I'll do is go, get, go words, give you guys uh, another insight, another review, you can call it a review, of Forza Horizon 5. Now I believe, believe this game came out about a week ago. Or two weeks ago. I'm not too sure when the release date was for like around the world because I know if you got a different version of the game it would be different to that and different to that and blah 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 blah. But I got mine last week. I know it was after the release date because I was, you know, I wasn't too fussed at that point. But I thought, you know what? I'll try this game out and I'm bloody well glad I did. But yeah, let's jump into this review with starting with the campaign. At the minute, I'm about 32 hours into the game. I've been sweating this game out a lot. As you can see, I started playing on the channel uh, live streams beforehand but I sort of got into it a bit too much which this game is addicting if you ask some people you're going to be playing for some amount of time I put in some long stints recently on this game and I'm still really really eager to start to play again really but yeah um with this one we have a very very good storyline you play as yourself well I, I play as myself and you have a voice for yourself obviously it's not going to be your own voice but you have either a woman or a man's voice that um well don't take the whole gender thing but what i'm saying but you get what i'm saying and um yeah this really really brings the game to life i know in previous horizons um i can't really give my overall opinion on the horizons as they go on because i played horizon one two and three but i missed out on four because i got a little bit bored but i came back at five i gave it a shot and i'm, I'm glad i did there's so much now to do i'm not going to spoil it for anybody with the the storylines and everything like that but they bring in characters we have actual like a storyline where you want to play and you want to do these races to find out what happens which i think is awesome to do we now have just fun challenges for you guys to do within the races as well which sort of makes it feel like you're not just grinding this game out 24 7 just to get the credits or the xp another thing which brings this game to life for me is just what you can do I know in previous horizons it's a known given thing of PR stunts, races and all that sort of stuff but I sort of feel like now with the PR stunts it keeps you involved in a way of getting your accolades which they brought into this game of um, I'm not too sure whether I'll show it in the clips that you're viewing at the minute I'm just recording my opinion and I then will go on to record gameplay to then go on top of this but the accolades that you can collect in this game is very addicting I'm very much one that likes to grind games out so the fact that I can go and get these accolades and then I get rewards from that. Like I've recently got a reward um, in one of my accolades. I'm not too sure which one it was for the Vulcan, the Aston Martin Vulcan uh, AMR Pro. And yeah, that was just for doing an, an accolade. I think that's really, really cool. It keeps you guys motivated to go off and do something to then get this car without having to fork out the millions of pounds I'd have to have done to get the Vulcan, which I think is really, really cool. And the fact that now I... I'm very much one I like to get 100% completion and I've just recently got every single road on this game which is 578 which is <laughs> bad of me because it shows I'm a sweat but at the same time it shows that this game is big the map is big it's really 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 big but I think it's worth it for them to put this amount of work into the game to make it this big because I think it works perfectly I think that I think the maps are just about right size I think if they went any smaller it would be a little bit too small and if they went too much bigger You'll be then starting to think of like the crew. I haven't I haven't played the crew, but I know there's loads of people that say that, that the um the map isn't it's just a bit too big. Now I, I didn't want that in this game, and I, thankfully we haven't got that. But moving on to one of the one things that everybody's ranting and raving about is the graphics of this game. I'm not too sure in the gameplay that you're viewing right now whether the graphics come out what they should come as because you know youtube's rendering is awful and you don't see what the quality is but if you bought this game and you're playing this game in the the max settings that you can whether you're on console or pc you'll realize how beautiful this game is it's taken them i think it's two years since horizon 4 and they put in uh, so much time into these graphics the way the cars look in the night time with like the number plate lights and a nice clean looking car it looks beautiful you then have all the mountains in the background you've got the beach side you got everything which just works extremely well if your pc or console is capable of upping the graphics it's 
it's just amazing really and I just I can't believe that a car game now is getting to this point we've been waiting so long for this and it's finally Forza is stepping up those boundaries into the point where we need it to be and finally I just want to do a little bit of a roundup I know I've just been talking about how good this game is but I just want to address the fact of should you buy this game I have some cons and I have some pro pros and cons I should really say and let's start with the cons now a lot of people that have been looking at this game will probably know that this game is very laggy it's very buggy at the moment and now you might be thinking oh well this game should be perfect straight out of the box I don't think so I like to give a game a few weeks for people to settle in report bugs and then come back to it I know that Forza have been sending messages within the game to people saying that thank you for your notes on the bugs that they've been experiencing and that they're looking to fix them and obviously they are been fixing them because there's been a lot of hot fixes going on lately and that, you know what fair play to them because they're actually addressing the issues that they're having i know if they i've experienced some of these bugs um in the first week it came out and you know you get over it there's so many people that are like slating this game for how buggy it is but honestly you're not going to notice it when you're playing it you're really going to notice it every once like once every three hours maybe something like that and it's just a little glitch and other than that this game is it's running spot on for me i'm not gonna lie and the pros of this game well the graphics it looks beautiful the game is extremely addictive that's one th i don't know if that's a good thing or not and it's just it's just a beauty to play i'm not bored at the moment i've been playing for 32 hours uh, in total steam time it says and i'm still not bored i've got so much to do in this game still which is leaving me wanting to play and i think that's good because they've added so much into this now i'm wanting to play it more than like completing the story mode upgrading all my cars and that being it i got so much more to do which i think is amazing in a game so what would i give this game out of 10 i'll probably give it a solid 9.1 and that's a very very weird number but um yeah there's not much to do i know there's critiques within the bugs but obviously i know at some point these are going to get fixed so that's why i'm not really too fussed on um you know these bugs i know at some point they will get fixed and yeah it's just a, a joy to play and you can probably tell by the way i'm explaining this game i'm just excited to play and play and play and i think that's something people will notice if you do get the game so yeah i think i'm gonna leave there guys i know it's been a little bit short but i think I, i've got all my points across i need to get across and i'd like to know down in the comments if you guys have played this game are you enjoying it and if you are why and if you're not why and yeah if you're not gonna get the game let me know and if you are gonna get the game let me know because i can give you guys some good tips and tricks if you guys need to and yeah if you guys are new around here and you want to help me out hit that subscribe button make sure you guys like this video if you have enjoyed it and if you don't then leave a dislike and leave a comment down below as to why but yeah until next time guys have a good day and i shall see you all guys again in my next video or my next live stream but until then have a good day guys peace